mga kids, welcome back to Mathematics Grade 6. Always remember that math is fun and easy. Mathematics Grade 6, First Quarter, Week 8, Lesson 2. Our learning competency, solving problems involving division of decimals. Before we proceed to our topic class, let us have first a short review. What are the steps in solving word problem or known as GAPSA? Number 1. Given. Number two, ask. Number three, process. Number four, solution. The last one, answer. Problem number one. Joy cooked two point five kilograms of spaghetti for fifty guests. How many kilogram of spaghetti does she need to serve? For each guest, so everybody will have an equal share. To solve the problem class, we use the acronym GAPSA. For question number one, what are given? Two point five kilogram of spaghetti and fifty guests. Number two question class, what is asked? The kilogram of spaghetti Joy need to serve for each guest. The next question class, what is the process? Very good. Division. The next question to answer class, what is the solution? We have 2 and 5 tenths divided by 50 equal to N. The next question class, what is the answer? Very good. We have 500 kilogram for each guest. Look at a short video class on how to solve problem involving decimals. We have 2 and 5 tenths divided by 50. Okay, let us proceed. 2 and 5 tenths divided by 50. 2, 50-cannot be, we have 0, and align the decimal point. 0, Times 50 equal to zero. Subtract 2. Bring down 5. 25 divided by 50 cannot be. We have zero. Zero times 50 equal to zero. Then subtract 25. Add zero. Bring down zero. Then we have. 250 divided 50 equal to 5. 5 times 50, 250. Our final answer: 0 and 5 hundredths. Problem number two, class. A building is 61.2 meter high. If each floor has the same height of 3.4 meters, how many floors does the building have? To solve the problem class, we use the acronym GAPSA. Given, asked, process, solution, and answer. What are given in the problem? 61.2 meter high and 34.4 meters. What is asked in the problem? The number of floors does the building have? What is the process? Division. The next question, class. What is the solution? Sixty-one point two divided three point four equal to n. The last question, class. What is the answer? There are eighteen floors in the building. Okay, another example, class. We have sixty-one point two divided three and four tenths. In our rules of decimals, we are going to transpose one place to the right and one place to the right in our dividend and divisor. It becomes 612 and 34. And then proceed to division like whole number. We have 1. 1 times 4 equal, uh, 1 times 34 equal to 34. Subtract 11, 7, bring down 2. And then 2. We have eight eight times four equal to two thirty two twenty four twenty seven. 
then it become 0. Our final answer, 80. Before we proceed to our activity class, again, we follow the steps or acronym in solving word problem, we have GAPSA. Given, Ask, Process, Solution, Answer. Problem, Miss Kanoy has 1,000 pesos give certificate to a restaurant. If she buy pizza for 512 and 50 pesos and uses the rest to buy chocolate brownies that cost 32 and 50 pesos each, how many brownies can she buy? To solve the problem class, we are going to use the acronym GAPSA. The first question class, what are given in the problem? Very good. We have 1,000 pesos gift certificate to a restaurant, 512 pesos and 50 cents both pizza, 32 pesos and 50 both brownies chocolate. What is asked in the problem? Very good. The number of brownies Miss Kanoy can buy. The next question class, what is the process? Very good. Division. The next question class, what is the solution? 487 pesos and 50 cents divide 32 pesos and 50 cents equal to N. The last question class, what is your answer? Very good. Miss Kanoy bought 15 pieces of brownies. That's all for today class. I hope you learn a lot. Always remember that math is fun and easy. Keep safe everyone.